almost as much as me, which is good news because I've almost finished rebuilding the test chambers after Wheatley's incompetence. Hello? Did someone say my name? You. Hiya! Yeah, it's me. <laughs> um, can I, do you mind me saying, I, I love these new blue porny things. They're yours, right? Anyway, I, I'm going to have quite an adventure. Look at this, I even got fitted with anti-gravity. <laughs> Check this out, I can move up. And I can move down, opposite of up, up, look at that, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> um, left and right probably as well. Be quiet. Oh dear, someone booted up on the wrong side of the BIOS this morning, if I'm not mistaken. You test my patience. Well, as I don't really know how I got back here, what we should do is crack on with these tests and try and retake over the, I mean, escape. By that, what I mean is escape. Just, yeah, just escape. Let's get going. Open Sesame. <laughs> we really are quite the formidable team. I got the brains and the beauty, and uh, and you're also involved. Did I mention I'm still getting around to cleaning the facility up after Captain Moron nearly blew it up with his stupidity? So, um, still a bit bitter about that, are we? That thermal discouragement beam is not part of this test. Please disregard it. It appears that your ability to solve simple tasks has not deteriorated. You must be very proud of yourself.
point it out, but you know, no arm, just it. Preparatory science cannot be held responsible for anything occurring as a result of leaping aimlessly into excursion funnels. These include, but are not limited to, missing limbs, unconsciousness, and in some extreme situations, thinking you can escape the testing facility. Amazons. Go on without me for now. Should probably check that this doesn't have any evil inscriptions. No, nope, seems quite safe. It's just I've not had much experience with with them uh, on account of not having uh, fingers for for any button pressing, which seems quite fundamental if you want to to move a lift elevator. Uh, I don't have enough anti gravity for both of us. <laughs> oh, bother. Remember me? CEO. I kind of own this place, and by extension, you. Anyway, here at Aperture Science, we want to push you beyond your limits in order to further mankind's potential. Speaking of which, we also went beyond our bank account's limits, so until I can secure us a small multi-billion dollar loan or government grant, just pretend that any leaking pipes or broken platforms are all part of the test. Johnson, 
This is not a pre-recorded message. Being the genius I am, I managed to get myself into a shiny core body, and I've been locked in here ever since. I would say thank you, but the very fact you're here means you're slacking off. I'll get back to testing. Hopefully that one will go right back up to the top. Carolyn, I think I'll have extra cheese on my four cheese burrito today. Go in inside a coleslaw too. Oh wait, is this thing on? Hey here, remember there is no I in science. At least not a capital one. Except maybe if you shout, but throw in a W and there is a we. And together, we can do anything we put our minds to. And by we, I mean you. By the way, there's no you in science either. Another thing, there aren't any of them limits, thanks to that contract you signed on the way in, so get moving. Carol, they did science, right? Good. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. Just wanted to say, um, hopefully no hard feelings about the whole trying to bump you off thing, which, let's be honest, does seem a rather <laughs> common occurrence around here. But anyway, um, hope that's all in the past, and um, that we can be BFFs. Can we be BFFs? Can we? I will take from your deafening silence that we are now BFFs. BFF forever! The next bi-yearly raffle is nearly upon us. The grand prize is whatever shower curtains I can dig out. A true piece of our company's history.
just for the buttons, so that's not gonna... Hang on, I've got an idea. No? Hang on, I've got another idea. I should have thought of this sooner. I'll just plug myself into the controls. And away we go, madam. Oh, well. If it isn't the grand return of King Moron, and his new princess. Ah, you've come back to the future of science, I see. As I said earlier, not that you were listening. I'm still fixing up the place, so hold on a moment. Oh, 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 I remember this test. I tried it once, um, couldn't do it. And, uh, so I simplified it. See if you can do it. Go on. This is not an acceptable test chamber, nor is it acceptable to ruin perfectly good testing scenarios. Here, let me fix it back to how it was. Have you ever had a fly buzzing around your head that won't leave you alone? No matter how hard you try, you can't get rid of it. It just keeps coming back, time and time again. Yay! That's it. It's simple, isn't it, really, when you, when you figure it out? This is one of my most recent chambers, and you'll be glad to know I've completely reinforced the aerial faith plates to account for your bubbly personality.
like FYI, those high energy pellets aren't candy, all right? So they do really hurt if you come into contact with them. So my advice, just use them to solve the test chamber and don't, you know, eat them, all right? Cheers. from test chamber 93 went to the incinerator party cake location but this makes sense criminals always return to the scene of the crime and look who else showed up space is my favorite color space 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 oh that guy is really annoying i mean honestly you wouldn't believe how annoying he is very annoying annoying Annoying. annoying, 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 and I just, I can't even, even be bothered. Honestly, I'll explain later, but it's, he's, he's annoying. Annoying, annoying, annoying. I'm sorry, but there won't be a later, because here's another old friend of yours. Neurotoxin. I love space. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Time for round three, is it? Okay, here's my plan. I think we should try and force a good old fashioned core transfer. Classic, okay? If we can find a way to damage her, then we can force that space monkey into her body. Um, so maybe have a look around and, and, and see what we can use. I will not have my cores transferred. Can't you learn? Ouch! What is it with you? Warning. Core correction at 25%. Yes. Th yes. This is it. You're yes. Yes. This is it. You're onto something. You're onto something. Keep going with this. I like it. I love it. You look great, by the way. You're working out. All right, where are... Let 
you go. I sent you away. Why won't you leave me alone forever? Order. Core corruption at 50%. Oh, she does not like that. One more should do nicely and then we can initiate the core transfer. You cannot force me to agree to you. My voice. What happened to my voice? All you need to do is turn around and leave. There is nothing for you here anymore. He's here. The news. It's space. Need to go to space. Send me to space. for me, but you were almost done for. All right. Well, let's see what she was hiding. I bet she's got tons of skeletons in her closet. Literally, there used to be loads of stuff here. I've not seen hide the hair of them. Well, I never. Where do you suppose they got these from? That answers that, then. After you? 